Hi parents, hi caregivers. My name is Natalie and I am a staff developer with the Teachers College Reading and Writing Project at Columbia University. And just like you, I am a parent. And one thing I've been thinking about as I work with my reader at home is how we can engage in intimate conversations around the books we're reading. So taking note of moments where we relate to our character based on our own experiences, but then also those moments where I'm actually seeing into an experience that is not like my own. It was making me think about the work of Dr. Rudine Sins Bishop and her work around mirrors and windows. And I was thinking that as a parent, as someone who's sitting alongside a reader, there are some things that I can ask that can help us connect intimately and deeply to the books that we're reading. So I was thinking I would share that with you. So the first thing we can think about are the ways that books are mirrors for our students. That means that the book is a reflection of our own lives. That means we can see ourselves in the books we're reading. And so when we come across moments where a book feels like it is a reflection or a mirror for us, we can then ask some particular questions to bring in that intimate conversation. So you might think about asking things like, wow, does this part remind you of yourself? Or does this part remind you of our family? What are you noticing? You might also think about asking questions like, does this remind you of our life here at home? You might also be thinking about, you know, something we've done as a family. You know, this seems like something we've done. Do you remember that time? What does this make you think? Students will then start, or our readers will then start thinking about how this book connects to them and how they see themselves in the characters in the books they're reading. Now, sometimes we're going to come across books where moments in the book or the whole book itself is what we call a window. That means that as we're reading, it's like we're looking out of a window into the world, noticing and learning about experiences that are not quite like our own. When we're having those moments where a book is beyond our own personal experience, we can always ask questions to help root our children in the moments of learning that they can take about an experience that's unlike their own. We could ask things like, or say things like, you know, this reminds me of so-and-so. You might be thinking of a neighbor or another family member. And we've learned about their culture or their experience. Do you remember that? Does this remind you of that person or that experience? You might also ask questions like, what is this making you think about other groups of people that are different from me or other experiences that are different from mine? What am I learning here? And then as we're taking on that learning, we can be thinking about what we can carry into our own lives. Now that I know this thing, how can I move forward? Now, parents, caregivers, as we're sitting down alongside our reader to read all of the many books that they'll encounter across the year, we, we can always be thinking about how can I build this intimate connection and conversation around these books. And one of the great ways we can do that is by thinking about how this book is a mirror for us, where it reflects for us, or is it a window for us where we see into another experience. As you're doing this work, know that it's really powerful for you to connect your own personal experiences to those of your reader and helping your reader see those moments where they can see themselves. Sometimes our readers don't always see it right away. So with these ideas in mind, I send you off to go enjoy reading your books with your kids, thinking about how you can build those intimate conversations with your reader.